Hey everyone, I'm Emma from GoDaddy's The Journey. And I'm Darlene from GoDaddy's How To. And today we want to talk about the benefits of having a blog on your business website, and we'll show you how to add one to your site. So first, let's talk about why you need a blog for your business. You might be thinking that it's a good way to boost sales or gain subscribers, notoriety, or even add revenue to your website. But the reality is that without building relationships and authority on your site, none of this is possible. So the first step in a successful blog is finding your niche. Write about the thing you do that nobody else does quite like you. Maybe you knit baby Yoda bean bags and sell them on Etsy. <laughs> Write about your progress, your current ideas and projects. I see this all the time with painters and artists where they take a photo twice a day to show their fans the progress of their latest piece of artwork. I love that. And be authentic, be yourself. People really love that. And your audience doesn't want to hear you sell, sell, sell. They want to hear you tell, tell, tell all about yourself and your craft. And pacing is key for your blog. You want to write often, even if you think you aren't reaching anyone. So commit to 15 minutes a day to update your status on projects, add pictures or videos to enhance the experience for your future readers. This is going to take time, but persistence is the key. You may not realize it, but all this work will give your blog and website authority, which over time will increase your SEO and potentially help you rank higher on Google search. Yeah, we noticed that trend back in 2009 during the Great Recession. Businesses were slow, so they turned to blogging about their business and connecting with customers in a new way. And the time they put into their website and writing about their business paid off big time once the economy got going again, and suddenly they were on top of Google searches and consumers were ready to spend money and those businesses reaped the financial benefits. But it's a long game. This doesn't happen overnight. Exactly, this takes time. So once you have a good cadence going with your blog and you have something that you wanna share with the world, now's a good time to start connecting with others that might share your interests. So if you're making those Baby Yoda bean bags, reach out to knitting communities, forums, and websites, or even Star Wars crafting and fan pages. It's a great way to share your story and get people interested in what you're doing. Okay, darling, let's show everyone how to get started on building out this blog page. Now, we're gonna go to demo the website plus marketing version on the website builder. And if you're looking for a WordPress version of this demo, we covered that on the journey and you can watch it right over here. Cool, okay, let's go. Log into your GoDaddy account and go to your website dashboard and click edit website. You can add your blog to a section on your current page, or you can create a separate page for your blog. For now, we're gonna add it as a section to our current page. To add a section, we'll select Pages and Sections, and then Add Section. Let's choose Blog. Take a look at the layout options and select the one you like. We're gonna add the top one. The blog displays on your site. Use the pane on the right to change the layout. We'll look at Manage Blog in a moment, but for now, let's look at the background image. As you can see, we can replace the image, but we're gonna keep this one for now. We can zoom in or zoom out, and we can adjust the overlay. And the blue dot on the image allows us to adjust the focal point. This is the area that will be most visible to users on their mobile devices. The last option is to change the image from color to black and white. Once the image looks just how you want it, click Done. Let's check out the Manage Blog page. The blog page is where you can create posts, manage comments, share your posts on social, or manage blog subscribers. To return to your website, click Website in the toolbar. If you want to keep your blog on your homepage, then you're good to go. However, if you want to see how to move your blog to its own page, start by going back to Edit Site. Click Pages and Sections and Manage Pages. Let's add a new page. Let's call the new page My Blog. We want the new page to be accessible from the navigation as well as the footer, so let's make sure both of those are turned on. When things look good, create the page. Now you're ready to move your blog from the home page to your new page. To do this, we don't want to add a section. We want to go to our home page and find our current blog. 
Click Pages and Sections. Now scroll down to find the My Blog section. Click the kebab, which is the three vertical dots on the right, and choose Move Section. Select your blog page and click Move. Click Publish to save the changes. That's it. Your blog's been moved to your new My Blog page. Awesome, Darlene. Thank you. And look, we realize that these are challenging times for businesses, but GoDaddy's here to help. If you need assistance, feel free to call the GoDaddy support line and talk to one of our guides. Until next time, stay safe. And stay healthy.